Hello everyone! Today we are going to Scotland. So today we are going to the first part. Uh, it's going to be a two part video series I guess you could call it. In which we are going up to Scotland and around all of the cities. So first of all we are going to be going to Doncaster. It should be a good trip as a cross country HST arrives behind me. We have now arrived into Doncaster, we have our train here, a class 185, it's a bit boring when you've been on it a few times like I have, but it's alright, it's quite nice, and now we're parting to Cleethorpe. The 105 is now gone, so that was our train from Sheffield to Doncaster. Uh, the next train we're going to be getting on now is going to be an LNER service, not an Azuma, unfortunately, we're not getting on a new train. We're going to be getting on an Intercity 225, which is still quite nice. I've not actually been on one before, so that should be fun. And that's going to be taking us on a three hour and one minute journey from here in Doncaster all the way up to Edinburgh. So that's going to be departing in about half an hour-ish, I think it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on that and it'll take us to Edinburgh. Just got home as a class 91 in the city 225. We're in a Mark 4 coach for the first time. Uh, we've just spotted Doncaster and we're on our way to York, I think is the next stop. So, yeah, next stop York and eventually in about three hours or so, we'll be in Edinburgh Waverley. So I'm arriving into Newcastle, you might be able to tell by all the bridges and the river. I think that bridge over there is quite famous, I don't know what it's called there. <laughs> Actually, the furthest north I've ever been in my life, so it should be fun. So when we 
cross over this line, this dotted line here, we're going to be in Scotland. So any second now, it's quite tense. Three, two, one. We're in Scotland. Welcome to Scotland. A lovely view of the sea outside. Just got off our train, it's on our flight here. Um, we're just getting on to get a few photos of the interior while we still can for the parks. So yeah, we've got about an hour and a half until uh, in Sun City we're going to get on. This is the In Seven City at Scott Rail's newly refurbished HSTs. But they're not calling them HSTs, they're calling them the In Seven Cities. And I have to admit, it's probably one of, if not the nicest train I've ever been on. So you have some seats here, have got all these plug sockets and your speed chargers. Uh, there's not many seats, it's quite a small coach. But uh, that end we've got a bar. And at this end, that's the power car just through there, so class 43. So yeah, it's a really nice this in seven city and we're going to be traveling on it in about 40 minutes it is now so yeah in 40 minutes we're going to be parting on this and we're going to go all the way up to Aberdeen and hopefully we're going to get some free food it should be really nice and scenic route so yeah that's something to look forward to in 40 minutes as the lights have just turned off apparently so although I've just been in first class which is where we're going to be the train, of course, has a standard class as well, which is what this is. And again, it's really nice seats. Like, it's really bright, really spacious, and really nice mechanics and all the seats. So, yeah, really nice. Uh, we're not travelling this bit, but still, this is what standard looks like if you're travelling in standard. Another feature of this new train is, of course, the new Inter 7 City Cafe, which we have here. It's closed at the moment because we're not departing for another 40 minutes. But yeah, it looks really nice, and I'm sure there'll be lots of nice food and hopefully merchandise when it opens and we're on board. So yeah, we've got first class, we've got standard class, and we've got the new bar. So yeah, overall, a really nice new, although technically not new, it's a HST, but yeah, a newly refurbished interior. We are now setting off from Edinburgh, Edinburgh, weird way of saying it, Edinburgh to Aberdeen on the Inter 7 City. Right, so we're now approaching the fourth bridge, which comes from a station called Dalmany, and we're about to go over it. So, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I will train with that. be able to tell by the signs behind me we are now arriving into Dundee so we've still got how many we've got left an hour or so maybe so we've still got quite a bit of time left we are currently about 10 or 15 minutes late but I don't really mind because it means we get longer on the in seven cities so in a way I kind of like the delay so yeah we're arriving into Dundee now and we're more than halfway on our journey unfortunately Now in Montrose and the weather has improved quite a lot. You can see there's loads of blue sky up there now. So yeah, you can tell by the Montrose sign again. And um, yeah, it's a very small station, it's like there's only like two platforms. But yeah, there's a nice church or something over there. And on the other side you've got like beaches and sand. Because that's where you get on a beach, sand. <laughs> But yeah, we're in Montrose and it should be half an hour-ish maybe until we get to Aberdeen. Hello, you can see my reflection. This is another in Seven City passing us in Montrose. Slowing down. We're not the only in Seven City on this line then by the looks of things. away from Aberdeen now so we are approaching our final destination on the city seven city our journey is almost coming to an end you can see the they can't at the moment but the seas over there so we've been along the coast for the majority of the journey it's been really really scenic and um, the service on here has been amazing because the Scotland staff they keep on walking through they have drinks and snacks like shortbread so I've got a few shortbread I've got a tea I've had a hot chocolate and the customer in first class it's just been all free of charge, we get all complimentary. We've got of course charging ports and basically it's a really nice train, the nicest train. I think I'll go as far as saying it's the nicest train I've been on. We're a few minutes out of Aberdeen um, we're just getting the bags ready, getting everything sorted and packed. It's an hour. Aberdeen and quite in contrast to where we've been earlier, the sky is completely blue. And there's a helicopter down here as well. Yeah, it's pretty much all blue skies everywhere. Our terrain is the one in the background, not this one, but the other one. And this is another uh, in seven city that's already parked up. So here we've arrived in Aberdeen and we've got about an hour and a half, maybe it's about an hour now. It's been here a few minutes. But in about an hour maybe we're continuing on to Inverness well that bit should be fun because part of that is going to be on a rail replacement bus which of course everybody loves going on rail replacement buses so yeah that'll be fun there's a lot of wind so apologies for that but yeah we've got about an hour or so so we're just going to go around the town city whatever it is and yes yeah, so it will be fined. So I'm in Aberdeen station or the shopping centre next to Aberdeen station I'm not sure what but it's a really nice room looks like it's recently been refurbished or something. You can see it here it just looks amazing it's really spacious and modern while keeping obviously some of the old brickwork that looks things. So yeah it's a really nice station. I know 
the next train involves a rail placement bus. So we're taking this train to Dice, and we're going on a rail placement We're going on a rail placement bus for about an hour or so, which is going to be painful. And then we're getting on another train, which will take us up to Inverness. So the full thing is going to take about three hours, so it's going to be a very long journey. And this is the first part. Ten minutes, and then we'll do a very quick journey. Just one stop to Dice, where we'll change into a rail placement bus. So yeah, it's a bit of a boring train to be honest. Just diesel, multiple unit, nothing really special about it. But the seats quite spacious, I guess. We've got a bit of space. We've got some, we've got a plug. If you can see down there, there's a plug to charge things. It's a bit useless when you're only on here for about ten minutes, if that. So yeah, next stop will be Dice. and we're in Dice and we're going to get on one of these buses which is the one for this one bus for an hour So we've just arrived in a place called Huntsley that's where the rail replacement bus went to and we've found our next train which is down there it's a HST and this is quite an interesting angle on a HST but yeah this is our next train this is going to be taking us to Inverness so I think it's going to be about one hour or so this journey but yeah we're on not uh, in 7 city but HST nonetheless. That's part of this journey over to Inverness. And then once we get there, we'll be just going down to Kingersey. So this is on board the HST now. It's got the old doors actually with the windows. And it's an unrefurbished interior, so it's not uh, in Seven City unfortunately. But well, it's kind of good because it means we get to go on both types of HST that they have up here. So yeah, we'll be setting off in... Apparently it's about 40 minutes actually until we set off, so... Quite a while before we actually should get moving, but yeah. We're on the second to last train of the day. And then we'll be staying overnight in Kingersing. So we're now in Huntley, but since this train doesn't depart for 40 minutes, there's not really a lot to do. We're just going to be sat here for like more than half an hour. So we're just sort of walking around it. We've got an entire HST, it's nearly empty. There's only a few people on board. So yeah, we just have to wait now until it departs. And it's quite a small station. There's not a lot here, just a bridge. And at both ends it goes down to just a single trap not far from the station, so very quiet, very remote, there's not a lot here, but we've got this HST, which I'll turn around right here. not a lot to do here. I'm just waiting for the last 20 minutes or so before we hopefully leave. I'm going for some nice Scottish countryside. And something interesting just happened. We were just speaking with the conductor and we asked what the upgrade fee would be to go in first class. And she said to just sit here and like, see what we think because it's a bit warm in here. And to be fair, it is quite warm in this coach. So she said to just sit here and see what we think and she'll come back with the upgrade fee. She'll ask what it is and she'll come and tell us. But we've just departed and she's not come back since. So I'm not really sure what's happened. We're just sat in 
GWR first class apparently, because they've not refurbished it, and yeah, we're just going to sit here, see if she comes back, but for now we're just going to stay sat here. I mean, there's no one else in this coach at all, so it's not like it makes much difference, us being in first or standard, for us just over one hour journey to Inverness. Currently travelling, you can see this end is the power car, but at the moment we just have an entire HST coach in first class to ourselves. The conduct hasn't, well as of yet, hasn't come back to say anything to us about an upgrade fee. So yeah, just travel through here, we've got the sun's I think beginning to set now, we've got all the nice countryside on both sides, little fields and trees and yeah it's really nice. I really like train travel because you can be just sat in a nice coach like this with all of the beautiful scenery passing by. And we've got this for an hour now. So, yeah, it's a shame it's not refurbished and in Seven City, but it's kind of good for the variety. So, I don't want to bore you with any physics facts, but something that I find quite cool about being in a train like this is that it's interesting travelling in this direction down there. If you walk down here, you're technically walking at a speed faster than the train. So, I'm actually walking down here. And my velocity is faster than the train's velocity because it's my walking speed on top of the speed of the train. So I'm typically walking faster than the train, which I find is quite cool. Although I'm still on board, I've not overtaken it. I have to admit, this is actually quite a surreal experience because we've got an entire first class coach to ourselves. It's it's something you don't experience every day. I can say it's one of the best experiences I've ever had. For now, we've just got a first class coach. We're currently at Keith. We're actually currently leaving Keith. Correction there. And yeah, no one else has got on into first. So, <laughs> as of now, we are still here in an otherwise empty HST Mark III coach. have got on now so we don't actually have the whole coach to ourselves still unfortunately. We are currently about, what is it now, 20 minutes maybe away from Inverness, assuming we're running on time, which I think we are. And yeah, we've got all the things going past. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching noon. Any passengers leaving the train at noon, please note instructions are approaching somewhere, I didn't actually catch where that is. We're not that far away and it looks like we might have managed to get the whole journey in these amazing seats in first class, which is, I mean, we're really lucky to get this to be honest, and no one else obviously managed to do it, but this has been, a, well the trip so far overall has been really great, we've been really lucky with a lot of things, but yeah, we've just got one more train after this and that'll take us to the remote village of Kingsley, which is, you've probably not heard of it unless you live in Scotland, around this area. But it's like a small village in the Highlands, and it was basically the cheapest hotel we could find. We went on to Vargo. So, yeah, we're staying in the hotel there, which is just across the road from the station. And uh, then tomorrow we'll be continuing and going back home to Sheffield. So, I hope tomorrow goes as good as today has so far. Although we've still got one more train left to go, so fingers crossed the last one does actually go well like the other ones have. This out of the window is obviously Inverness Airport. Since we're nearly in Inverness and there's an airport, by process of elimination, we've figured out it must be Inverness Airport. Inverness, this is our train we've just been on, and one more train to go now, I mean it might be this one, but we'll see, we've got about half an hour-ish train here, and then we'll be on our final train down to Kingersey.
train, the last train of the day. It's going to take us to Kingersley. Eventually going to get to Queen Street in Glasgow, but we're not getting that far. Uh, this is the HST we just arrived on, so we're just going to go and get some photos of that before we board our last train of today. So we've now arrived, finally, into the very small town, village thing, whatever you call it, the pink thing. This is our last train of the Monday, which is today, or Monday today. Um, so yeah, it's about to leave now. And we're at our final destination. So we're staying in the hotel that's just across the road over there. But yeah, so our train's about to depart. And it is now. Yeah, that's that's all of the trains for today. And it's gone.